Okay, so the first step that you want to do is you want to find all the flat lines. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. So now you have all the flat lines, so you can just write that down somewhere. It's eight. And now you have to find the perimeter of the irregular sides by using Pythagorean. According to Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So all we have to do is turn the irregular sides into triangles. So let's start with this one. This side goes over 2 and down by 3. So it's 2 squared plus 3 squared equals its side squared. So let's solve this. Okay, 2 squared is equal to 4. So it's 4 plus 3 squared, which is 9, equals the square root of 13. So this side is the square root of 13. Okay, so let's find the other side. These two are the same, so we only have to do it once. So that's a, that's a 1 by 1. So 1 squared plus 1 squared equals 2. So this is the square root of 2, and then this is also the square root of 2. Okay, let's finish this. The last one is 1, 2, 3 over, and 1, 2 up. So this is also a 2 squared plus 3 squared equals c squared. Since we already did this, we already know that the answer is 13 squared, so we can just write that in again. Okay, we only have one more to go. So the last one is a 1, 2, 3 by 1. So 1 squared plus 3 squared equals c squared. 1 squared is 1. 3 squared is 9. So 1 plus 3 equals 10. 10 squared. So now we have to just add the very last ones in. So now it's 8 times 2 to the 13th square plus 2 to the 2nd square plus square root of 10 is equal to the perimeter. Okay, so just to recap, when you first have an irregular object, you want to find all of the non perimeter like all the straight sides that don't need and then we can just write that down. Then you want to work on the other sides. So you just have to find the two straight sides and make a right angle. So like right angle here, and there's a right angle here, one here for both of them, and then one here. And then you can use the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared to find this. All you have to do then is to simplify it, but these are already simplified, and then you will get your perimeter. Thank you. This has been Finding Perimeter of an Irregular Shape with Math Nation.